we've got now I've taken the keep off so <clears throat> yeah quite a big chunky hole there so got a bit of making good to do can un obviously unlock it and then when you go to lock it obviously you can't engage it and get the key out so it sort of locks but the key won't come out all right, I've actually just tried a grub screw and then it's pulled in tight to both of these. So I put a little bit of this lock tight on there and um, yeah, let's try it up. What we're doing here, we're changing, um, we're putting a, a British standard night latch on there and changing this and making good the frame. The, the frame's pretty bad behind. In fact, it's almost hollow. So doing that, but we're not doing it till tomorrow because there's two, as you can see, there's two flats to this. So uh, we need to distribute the keys first, which I've just done. So that lady there's got two keys. That, that, that guy there's got two keys. Um, they're not in at the moment, but slid them under the door. And then, um, so tomorrow I can come get all this changed. Um, put a notice on the back, this is how I always do it when there's multiple, multiple residents. Um, that should be changed to two. There's my tracer pen. Let's change that to two. Oh, I can't do it when I'm filming. There we go. Yeah, so they both get two new keys, and yeah, so I'll be here tomorrow and getting this fitted. Right, I'm at a job for a building contractor, and um, they've renovated recently this uh, this property. Um, and uh, but there's been a problem with these doors. I'm not going to shut it probably now because uh, they do get jammed, um, but. Uh, so they've been and adjusted, done some adjustments on the doors, um, but it's still not, still not working properly. And they've actually sawn the hook off there. Um, and even with the door, even with the handle fully pressed down like that, the latches and that aren't retracting. Um, so I'm going to see if I've got a hook gearbox in here and see if changing that makes a difference. Um, but if not, we're gonna have to get a complete new mech, but uh, it's only a Lockmaster. But uh, yeah, she she knows the technique now apparently to actually get it open, but it's not ideal. <laughs> she has to, once if the door's shut and locked, she has to uh, unlock it, lock it, unlock it, lift the handle, pull the handle down, all sorts just to get out. But yeah, I'm not gonna go that. Right, I've actually got a hook gearbox lockmaster gearbox and it's the right back set so i'm going to try changing that first while i'm here see if that makes any different hello oh no nope, don't like me come on no nope. <laughs> uh, i'm going to try changing that first and then just see if that makes any I'm difference i'm entirely sure that look, the actual cylinder's not a problem it's just a, look at how cheap that is uh but i've just been turning it and it's getting yeah, it's getting caught cool there so that could also have a bearing on this problem. So I'm going to go and get a cylinder out of the van as well, get, put a verser in it and see if that makes any difference. Right, so new gearbox, exactly the same, but without a sawn off, <laughs> without a sawn off bolt. Um, let's just throw that so you can see what it should look like. Yeah, a little bit different. Uh, so, we we'll get this one changed over. So what I do, uh, let's just throw that back like that. Oh, there's a stick on there, look. I have to force it through there. There we go. And that keeps that steady. So now we can undo these screws and then lift the whole thing off, put it onto that and uh, try it, give it a go. Well, there you go, so we've unscrewed it from that, lifted it over, screwed it back into that, and with a little bit of luck, um, it's 
actually let's rest that up there. So the latch is retracting, hooks all coming out. Yep, right. So let's get this back in and then um, I'm still gonna put a new cylinder in because that's that's still catching on it. So we'll put a new cylinder in and get this back in and uh, we'll give it a go. I think it's gonna need quite a bit of adjustments as well, alignments, because um, the builder said that they've been here and they've done alignments and obviously they've, they've cut the bolt as well just, just, just to try and get it working. So let's give it a go. Another little tip for you guys. If any of you use one of these uh, Weera uh, screwdrivers, if you don't, what are you doing? Because they're unbelievable. Um, but yeah, I always keep, I changed it up a little bit from, it was just like Phillips and Flatheads when you buy it. But I put a Torx uh, T20, is it T20? Um, where is it? Yeah, hang on. Yeah, I think that's a T20. Yeah, Torx T20. And they are basically pretty much always the screws that, that hold the gearbox in. There you go, have a little tip. That goes back in there. All right, let's get this. That's back in position now. So we'll get it screwed. I've just got to lift that up there. Get it screwed in and we'll give it a test. All right, so that's it all put back together. Now, when I first put it back, the latch was only retracting to about there. And the hook was only retracting to about, oh, to about there. So it was sticking out still. So we, we had that sort of situation when it was fully down. Now, if you find that, it's normally to do with these little shoot bolts, top and bottom, that aren't set right with the actual mechanism. So it's worth taking them off and making sure they're set. When the, when the cause I, I took these off, pulled the handle down and the latch retracted all the way back and so did the hook, pretty much like it is now. Um, so yeah, it's worth, yeah, it could always be a problem if you're not, if you're wondering why, you know, you've refitted it or put a new gearbox on and these aren't going all the way back. It's normally to do with top and bottom bolts like up there and up the top up there. So uh, I'll get the handles back on now. I'll go and get this new cylinder and we'll give it a test. Yeah, look at this cylinder. That's completely jammed up. It just keeps getting stuck. Uh, try and get my fat fingers out of the way. There okay, go, it's getting stuck there. Yeah, I'm gonna stick a, um, just stick a verso on there and see if that makes any difference as well. Right, we are almost there. So, everything's working as it should. It's now locking. Um, so I think, Final thing to do, there's quite a bit of movement in that, so we'll adjust, we'll adjust the keep on there, but actually shutting and locking. So we'll just move this, move this in a little bit, and then I think we'll be done. So we're finally there. So gearbox changed. Cylinder change, loads of adjustments on both doors, but working beautifully now. It's latching nice, there's no, no movement in that now. So yeah, this one is done. Just a little bit of tidy up with my sucker up there. And then, Right, so I've come to look at this. I just told I was told that the uh, the whole door lock was um, loose, but it's this it's this part of the uh, electronic strike screws are missing that um, hold it in. But I can see bits of metal in there, so I've got a feeling somebody's tried to put screws in here. So I, I, I mean, I'll go and get a couple of grub screws out of the van and see if we can get that to. Um, something to pull in tight but I'm not holding much hope all right I've actually just tried a grub screw and then they it's pulled in tight to both of these so I put a little bit of this lock tight on there 
and um, yeah, this job's done. Let's see if we can line that out. So I've got the lock tight on the end of the screw there. Probably a bit too much actually, but if it came out a bit too fast. Okay, nice and tight, that is. Right, the other one in there, and we're done. And again, way too much. <laughs> uh, it just comes flying out, that stuff. But, you know, better to be safe in it. Look at that, that's beautiful now, so we can get this, peel this tape off. There we go, beautiful. Just test the door quickly before we go. That was my door stop, my jump up on my hoodie. There we go. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, they were saying that um, like with a bit of a heavy barge, it would just fall off, which is all right. It was gonna, that was ready to go. But, all done. All right, what we've got here is, um, I came here a little while ago actually, because the door just wasn't latching at all. So the problem we had was um, that to move this down, uh, it would have disturbed all of the all the decoration there. So I got a, got a, um, a Dremel for this bit here uh, of the keep, just to, just to allow the door to latch. But the problem it's, Problem now with it is that although the door's latching, shutting and latching, it's not actually latching enough. So you can just pull on the handle. So um, we need to rectify that. And the only way that I think I'm going to be able to do it is if you can see. Oh, where's my pencil? I'll try and point it out. Uh, in. I don't think you can see it, but in there, right in the back there, there's um there's a screw. Let me see if I can get some light on it. There, can you see that screw? Oh, where's it gone? There. That's a screw. And I've got to be able to which is screw in through the back of this. I've got to be able to cut that out and then try and pack pack the back of this out because it's at an angle to the door frame so this needs to come out this way and then that latch will latch better and hopefully that will rectify the problem. Right, managed to cut through the screw using Dremel and a Magibur, how about that? I weren't sure how I was going to do it but that literally has just flown through that. So now I can undo these two screws and then hopefully try and start prising this away. I might cut around there with a knife as well actually. Try and minimise any damage. Right, we've managed to get the keep off. It's caused a little bit of damage. There is quite a lot of fill around there but... So we will now try and reset this but over exaggerating sort of that way as opposed to it being sunk in. And that's where that screw in the back there would have gone. In the right, so we've got it out. I've reset it. I might just be able to get a new screw in the back, but I'm not sure yet. Um, but it's got to come this way a little bit. I've just tested it, <coughs> and it is shutting, but it's a little bit, it's just a little bit tight. Like if you do that, it's not closing, you have to slam it a little bit. So, and the beauty about doing this was that I was able to move it down, you can see. Well, I've moved it down there, so it's it's going to be in the right place now, rather than, like I said before, I'll um, use the Dremel on this. So yeah, I'll move it in a little bit, and then we can do a little bit of making good around there. Right, so what I've done, I've moved the bottom over. Rather than trying to take it off, re-pilot holes, I've left that one in, taken the bottom screw out, and moved that over. Gone in with the pilot bit. Now, and obviously screwed that back up now. It should make it easier to undo that, pull that over. There we 
go. So that's straight again now. And now we can oh, use our centering bit. Try it out. Oh, it's gone over a little bit. There we go. And now we can put the screw in there. But this video is all over the place. And now we can try that and see if that works any better. Right, there we go. So I've managed to get a screw in behind there. Put the little extend a bit on there. Managed to get a screw through the back. Obviously, this is all moved forward now. And shutting lovely. And when you're pulling it now, it's not open. That's it. This one guys so um this is the one we're changing the uh cylinder to a british standard era and obviously this huge keep's got to come out making good uh behind it like i said i think i said yesterday that it looks pretty hollow so you know making good and getting this done right what i've done with this one guys i've, I've put the template on first and marked the two holes for the uh scotch and bolt plates um scotch and plate bolts rather so we get that drilled out get that fixed first i'm going to do the night latch first and then this is what we've got now i've taken the keep off so <clears throat> yeah quite a big chunky hole there so got a bit of making good to do before i drill this what i'm going to do got this bit of timber here i'm going to hold that behind the door like that so when i go through with the drill it'll um oops yeah, stop it splitting out the back. Right, is that nicely secure on there? The bolts through there. Now it's time for the plate. And again, as I explained in a video I think I did the other day, make sure you screw all of the holes possible. So the A, B and the back ones, and obviously you put your screws through into your cylinder first. Right, it's the back plate on. Don't over tighten these yet, just get them tight enough so it pinches. So it doesn't move because you want to check that this is square perfect off the door there yep beautiful and then i always check the depth as well from the front edge to the front edge of the door by using the lock so if you put that if you hold that on there just like that just hold it on there and that's your depth as well so that's flush so that's perfect so now I know that this is in the right place and I can get all of these screwed in. Right, there we go. So that's all, uh, these are all drilled now with the self centering bits. So they're perfect in the middle. So uh, we can get that screwed in now. So I've said to you this before, with the, in the pack, you get these screws. So there's eight of these smaller ones, three of these larger ones, and obviously that's the face peg. The three larger ones are what goes in the keep in there. So you want to separate two of them because those two go into the door into these holes here that one and that one grub screws go in that one and that one so these six are for the back plate so make sure you use all six of them right so we've cut the tailpiece down holding the latch on there obviously it's proud so now we can mark well i've just marked it round with the tracer pencil so that's what i've got to cut out so we get that cut out and then this is almost fitted then right so that's the lock just sat in there now so this is where you always want to try and make sure that everything's working before you start fixing it um i just had to trim the tail piece down a fraction because the um anti-slip snip wasn't engaging but it is now so i know now that i can actually get this fixed and uh yeah then we can go over there and try and sort some of that out right, there we go it's all working and Pop. Popping out like it should. I think I'm going to show you on the. 
There you go. So that's all. It's all done this side. You'll notice that um, it hasn't got the keyhole on this one um, because it's in a um, well a converted house. So there's flats here. You don't want anybody to be coming along and you know. Not that they've done on purpose, but they might do when they're drunk or something. But yeah, locking that so that people can't get out. So obviously you're not allowed to, to have them in a in a situation like that for fire eggs. Right now, let's try sort this out. I'm going to fill that up. I think first with a bit of timber. Might might chop that back there, then fill the whole block with a bit of timber. Then make good that. Make good that bit of architrave and then start basically start from scratch then with the keep I forgot to mention pick this little bad boy up the other day finally got myself a 18 volt multi-tool rather than having to run a plug i mean there was there's actually no plugs in here so i would have been stuck but yeah i've just used it um for cutting that out and, and up there so i can just i'll go down there as well and square it all off actually while i'm here i might as well mention Brilliant bit of kit. It's a little bit heavy. Um, it's got the quick release, so you flip this, flip this up here to release the actual blade. But a little bit heavy, but yeah, cut through that nice. Right, we're getting somewhere, guys. So got a solid bit of timber behind there, and then we've got this. I've got to put this bit of hardwood on there. It just needs a little bit of sand in there, and then obviously I'll fill it all. And now I'm just gonna this bit of architrave, bit of architrave that's missing. I'm gonna cut out of this. So I'm just going to measure this, get a bit of block fixed in there, then plane it in. And then uh, and then I'll fit the keep and then I'll do all the filling and uh, touching up after that. Right, so that's that cut to height and same depth as the architrave there. So now I can chisel most of this off. I'll glue it, <coughs> then chisel most of it off and then just run the plane up that to, to match it in with that. And then, uh, yeah, then we're ready to fit the stripe plate. Right, a bit of a mess everywhere. I need to have a bit of a tidy up now, but that's uh, that's all that made good now. So now I can offer the, the strike plate for the lock on, get that done. I'll get it fitted, take it back off again, get it fitted, make sure everything's working. I'll take it back off again. Then I'll do all the filling with some two pack filler. Give that a sand up, give it a quick lick of uh, primer, and then I can fit that back and then I'm done. So. Keep is now in, so let's just lovely. Uh, you can't see down there, but yeah, it's all working lovely. So now all that leaves to do is a bit of filler. Needs well, a bit of tidying up first, I think, before anything. Bit of filler on there, filler down there, bit of cork around there, around the back, and then we can. Uh, touch it up a little bit of primer which I believe I've got over here yeah bit of that and then uh that'd be me done close guys so keeps back on I'm literally waiting I've just touched up the paintwork I'm literally waiting just so I can get a bit of decorated cork just on that top and around there and then it's done right we're done so it's the keep all done all filled around the back. Lovely. Right. Shut the door one more time. Beautiful. And do it from the outside. The door's actually got a little bit of a bind. So you'll notice when I shut it, it springs back in inside for a little bit. So yeah. It's quite a tight bind. It's binding on this back edge somewhere. But anyway, yeah. All done, and on to the next job now. Right, you can un obviously unlock it, and then when you go to lock it, obviously you can't engage it and get the key out. So it sort of locks, but the key won't come out. Okay. Um, it's nothing to do with the cylinder. Um, the problem problem is with this gearbox well more in particular this latch so if you if you can see uh, so at the moment it's it's in the open state so the hooks and that are, are in so if I pull the handle down 
the latch gets stuck, which then doesn't allow you to properly. So if you imagine, or if you imagine you've shut the door, that's gone in a bit, it'll stay in, and then you're lifting the handle up to lock the door, but it's not, it's not looking fully. The handle won't lift all the way up and the bolt's only coming out that far. So then you can turn the key to a point, but that's it. That's it, it won't allow you to do any more, okay? But with the latch fully out like that, you can then lift the handle all the way up. Hooks are coming all the way and, and the rollers are moving all the way where they should be. Then you can lock the door and remove the key. So it's to do with the gearbox here, but more in particular, this latch. I'm gonna try and take, um, I'll, I'll take the mechanism out quickly and remove the gearbox and see if there's anything I can do with that. Maybe file it down a little just so it, so this latch is clearing. But yeah, that's, that's the actual problem. It's actually a separate issue. Um, but yeah, let me see what I can do. Yeah, look, as you um, try and get a bit of a close up, that tiny, there's a tiny little nick there. Um, just there on the latch and that is catching on this part of the case. So what I'll do, I'll get a, I've got a round file. I'll just file that a little bit and file that a little bit there. That should rectify the problem. Let's have a go. Right, there we go. So that's all working freely now. So I've, I've obviously, uh, that little bit that was catching on there, filed that down. Um, so you can now lift the handle fully, like so, hooks and that are all coming out properly, rollers are moving, lovely, lock position, key out, that's all working, so let's just try it with the door shut now, chin, lock in, there we go, perfect. There we go. Oh, better go and get my tools, isn't I? <laughs> right, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I've just gotta go, just gotta run into the um, managing agents for that night latch and drop the rest of the keys off for them. So I'm gonna do that now. Um, but just quickly before I go, I just wanted to mention that um, I mentioned this, it probably was about a month ago because um, I've had my next report through and you might remember if you've seen the video that I mentioned about search gurus who are doing the SEO on my website. Um, I just, yeah, I wanted to say that month two, I've had the report through and I've climbed again on pretty much everything. Um, so yeah, they're doing bits. I haven't used, like I said, I haven't used Google ads now for, um, well, since I started using them, which was two months ago, just over two months ago. Um, yeah, and I've and I've seen an you know an amazing sort of result. It, it costs me half the price, almost half the price what I was paying to you know to Google Ads. So yeah, brilliant. I'll, I'll put the link down below if you're interested. Search Gurus. Um, they've actually they're actually specialising now um, because there is they they do work for uh, a few locksmiths. Um, so they've actually got a, a specialist locksmith site now. Um, for your search SEO, which I'll put the link down below. Um, check them out, and um, if you do contact them, let them know where you where you got their details from. Right, thanks as always, guys. Thank you to all my new subscribers. We are smashing it now. Um, and um, if you haven't, like I say, if you haven't um, entered the competition on my last video, get over there. Um, it's going to be running until the fifteenth of May, so you know, just got to watch the video and um, actually just watch the video because then you'll know what to do. Thanks guys, see you on the next one.